Here, I'm going to show you how to quickly reset all form controls in a worksheet, regardless of how many there are. So here I've got a nice little thing I'm going to show you how to make in an upcoming tutorial. I've got a drop down menu, some option buttons and a check box. And we can reset this so quickly by clicking this button. But I'm also going to show you how to do it without any VBA. And this is going to help you to automate your worksheet. But if you want even more automation for your worksheet to save yourself hours of time, check out my full VBA course. It'll take you from beginner or intermediate level all the way to advanced level, showing you how to automate pretty much everything in your workbook to make your life so much easier. And every tutorial in that course has a downloadable Excel file with all the code and all the notes so you're never left behind. There's a link to that course below this video, so check it out. Now let me reveal how this works right here in this tutorial. And uh, this is the secret sauce right here. One column for linked cells and one column for default values. So every single form element that you put inside your worksheet from the developer tab, insert, and form controls. You can also do it with ActiveX controls, but we're using form controls here. Every time that you put one in there, you can right click it and go to format control, control tab, and cell link. And then link that control to a cell. And we can use those cell links within formulas. In this case, we're going to use them to reset it back to default. So watch what happens when I scroll through this guy. This guy changes from one all the way to five and look at the next one. It's one right now. But if we make another selection, it goes to two and the same thing for all of these. They change when we change these. So all we have to do to reset it very quickly without any VBA is have a column of defaults right next to it. So we can very easily just copy this, go over here and paste it in. And now everything is back to default. Now, if you want to add a really nice little button like this, we only require one line of VBA code. And all that line of code is going to do is to say, hey, I want to set these cells right here, this range, I5 to I8, equal to J5 to J8. That's it. So let's go to the VBA window and do that. Alt F11. Then we go to Insert, Module, and let's call this Reset form. And we're going to do it in one single line of code to make it as easy as possible. So we type a worksheets and then the name on the tab of your worksheet. So a dashboard for us. Then a range. We want to set the left range equal to the right range. So we simply reference that. And that was, if you remember, I5 to I8. And we access the value property so we can change that. And then we set it equal to the other range, which is on the same worksheet, a dashboard. And then we access range and J5 to J8. Close that up, dot value, and we're good to go. Now Alt F11 to go back to the worksheet. And we can right click this guy, assign macro, and click reset form, OK. Click away and let's make some selections. And click a reset form. There you go. As easy as that. And when you use the VBA solution, you can go ahead and hide these columns. You no longer need them visible because you're not going to be selecting them, copying and pasting them. So we could put them somewhere else on a helper worksheet, hide that worksheet, get it out of the way. And then just have a nice little reset form button wherever we need it to be. So you can see VBA can really make your life so much easier, even with just one line of code. So remember, if you want to make your life even easier and save a lot of time, I highly recommend you check out my full VBA course that I have a link to below this video. I promise you it's going to make your life much easier once you learn how to use VBA in Excel.